Hi, so before we get started, I'd just like to ask you, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and also at the end of the video, please consider give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also, leave a comment below on ways to and suggestions and ways to improve this video moving forward. Let's go. In this video, I'm going to show you how to test the um, number of invocations. So recall that um, pretty much uh, up till now, the verification that we've been doing is just, you know, pretty much verifying that the method is called, right? So in this um, uh, video lesson, I'm going to show you how to verify number of invocations. Um, so there is a few a family of methods, um, times, at least, at most, and never, that we're going to cover in this lesson. So let me create a test method that I'm going to be calling uh, test number of invocations. And, um, you know, obviously I'm going to be utilize, I'm going to stop the uh, fetch book by the method. I'm going to be calling the uh, main method on the service. And that's pretty much, you know, how the baseline for the test. So again, I'm just building on the previous lesson. Um, you know, where we are uh, working with the uh, generic service, which has a method fetch book by ID that uses uh, three uh, objects that we are mocking, okay? And uh, basically, you know, the method is called, um, you know, it calls the mocks uh, fetch book ID on DAO and then log out and log error on the out logger and error logger respectively, okay? So I need to stub the DAO fetch book by ID because as you see here, the book, um, the logger needs an actual book to log uh, using, you know, the um, log the title. So anyway, uh, we, uh, I'm stubbing uh, the uh, fetch book by ID on the DAO. I call the main method and now let's do some verifications, um, you know, using the um, times, never, and at least, and at most method. So verify. Uh, let's do on the DAO fetch book by D42. Okay. Um, okay. So this is the standard way that we've been uh, doing. Uh, but what you can do is um, there is, you know, the verification takes another parameter where you can pass times. So, um, you know, times one, it's basically. Um, you know, the default, so you don't actually need to be explicit and do it, right? So these two lines are equivalent. So, um, so we're verifying that the fetch book by ID is called once, right? So obviously another way that you can do this is um, DAO. Uh, you can say, um, you know, at least um, one time, fetch book by ID 42. So continue here uh, with the verification. So I can verify that the uh, DAO, so we've got at least, so I can say um, at uh, least once. So again, this is equivalent. Fetch book by D42. Yet another one that it's equivalent is just uh, at most one time. And uh, yet another one that is equivalent is DAO um, at most once, okay? So all of these um, verifications are equivalent and I'm basically, you know, the whole point of this is to show you uh, the methods that uh, you can utilize. Um, so all of these are equivalent. So this is uh, just called once, which is exactly here, only once, um, at least one time. So one is matches that uh, at least once here. Again, these two are equivalent at most once. Um, and you can write it like that or at most one time, sorry, or at most once. OK, so let's run this method and see what we get. Make sure that this thing passes. So as you see, passes. So let's continue here. Um, there is another verification that you can do. Let's grab another um, DAO, uh, sorry, another mock like logger one. Recall logger one is mapped to the out logger, and uh, the out logger, recall, is the one that logs um, to standard output. So 
let's uh, do an error here. So uh, make sure that the method um, log to standard error with any string, it's never invoked, okay? And to make the thing a little bit more interesting, let's perhaps duplicate the logged output here, just so that we can, um, you know, write times um, with a valid, you know, that is not just one. So times two, obviously, you know, you can do, uh, you know, you get the gist of this, right? You can say um, at least, not once, but at least, you know, twice, okay? Which is, again, perfectly equivalent. Or, you know, I can just say at most and put the number of times, you know, I can say whatever, you know, 10 and so on, right? So obviously I can verify on the other logger uh, if I grab it here, let's do on the logger2, again recall logger2, it's mapped to the error logger and again we want to make sure that it, the interaction to log out with any string uh, never happens, okay? And that again, you know, the um, um, that the um, interaction actually happens uh, to uh, standard error, okay? And um, so I hope this showcases, so let's just run this, all of the, um, um, okay, so wanted but not invoked. Interesting, so let's take a look, see what we're doing wrong. So logger one, log to error, okay? So this is actually a typo we have here. So obviously we want log to out, okay? Okay run this again and as you can see it passes okay so this is basically uh, you know how you can assert the number of times or that um, you know that some some um, in, um, you know method call on uh, your uh, mock is, is um, you know the number of times and you have all of this combination of methods or you can you know use the never to make sure that um, you know an interaction or a call to a particular method never happens okay uh, let me just uh, show you a few more things that you can do so um, there is this um, uh, verify no more interactions on a mock which is useful in cases where you uh, like like in these cases right so notice a fetch book by ID um, you know calls on the DAO fetch book by ID okay and then it calls on the logger one um, you know, log to out and on the logger to log to error. So you might be interested in, uh, you know, catch cases where, um, you know, you have an unexpected call on your mock that you didn't expect. So you basically done with uh, all your verifications, you verify that the method that you expect to be invoked on the mocks have been called, you're done. And you want to basically say, okay, I want to make sure that there are no more invocations. If there are, I want the test to fail. So this is where the um, ver verify no more interactions is useful. So because we're done at this point with all of the verifications, we can do this on a DAO. We can do this on the logger one and obviously on the logger two. Okay. So we're done with the verifications. Again, fetch book by ID, the DAO call was verified here. Uh, the logger one was verified, you know, pretty much in um, any of these three methods. They are equivalent and the logger to call was verified here. So we downloaded all of the verifications for this call and we are saying, make sure that there are no more interactions and if there are failed tests. So let's run this case where it passes. Okay, as you can see, passes. And, um, you know, let's ma basically make another call um, here, fetch book by ID with 42, it doesn't matter, and let's run the test. And notice that it fails, okay? And it fails because it's telling us here, as you can see, that we're saying no interactions wanted here, okay? But, you know, there was an interaction with the DAO fetch book by ID, okay, with this call. Right. So another um, 
useful one related to this number of invocations. It's called verify uh, zero interactions. Okay, so this is cases where you might have a mock, um, you know, for, for example, in your class, uh, you know, test class, you may have a mock that you want to make sure that you know for this particular test there are no interactions with it. Okay, so just to illustrate this, let me mock one. Um, you know, log a service object here, just in this test, you know, and let's call it unused, and uh, used mock. And you would basically do it verify zero interactions with the unused mock. Okay, so now if I run this, it should pass. I hope you found this video useful. This is Nilton from craftofprogramming.com. Thanks for watching.